Hi guys, it's Constance with Charming Custom Crafts, and a big shout out to all you YouTube subbies and my Facebook followers. Um, today, uh, again, is my tutorial day, and I decided to go back to cards. There was somebody who was asking me about a particular card, and it just happened to work because it is somewhat of a simple card. Um, and I'm starting from the simple cards and working my way up anyway. So you're going to need a 12 by 12 piece of paper. A bone folder, your cutting board. Um, so where is that? You're going to need the strong tape, a little orange tape. Uh, it's about $2.99. I get, I think, uh, about an eighth of an inch. Um, Michaels and Joanne carries it. You're going to take your 12 by 12s and you are going to cut them, okay, into halves. And then you're going to take these two 12 by 12 halves and you're going to take, you're going to put two of them aside because you won't need them. And um, you're going to cut them down to six by sixes. And you're going to cut, once you get them to a six by six, you're going to cut them down to three by three. You're going to split them in half once again. Oops, almost cut this one in four inches. So you're going to take a 12 by 12. Um, cut it in half to a 6x12 and then you're going to cut the 6x12 into a 6x6 and then uh, one 6x6 by 3x3s. By so you can use the same color or two different colors. Um, for the purpose of this video, I am doing two different colors as well as my tutor uh, pictorial, um, which is halfway complete because I always do samples. So you're going to, for this, I'm showing you because this way you can see it better with two different colors. Um, once you get um, two 12x12, Sheets cuts down to six by six by three by threes. Um, you're going to want to sit them sideways and make sure that you, when you start putting this together, that there is a slight gap between the two sheets. That gap will help you fold and flip open. By the way, if you did not know what I'm doing, I am doing the never ending card. Reminds you of cooties when we were kids. Now, once you get all these papers ready, you're going to put strong tape in the corners um, an inch on each corner um, so it'll look like this very simple now I'm gonna pop these apart while I'm doing this um, now that we're, again I'm sure you guys you can understand why I'm doing two different colors it, it helps when you have multicolored paper when you're doing cards that could feel complicated um, there's a lot of people out there that do these cards and I think they do it more complicated sometimes people are more visual and make sure when you put the tape down that you rub over it. So I got one here ready. I was hoping to have the tape ready. This shouldn't take long at all. It takes more time, I think, to take the tape off than it does to fold this. If there was any, don't use any other type of tape. Glues won't work. Um, strong tape, and I hate to say it, there isn't any other tape out there that will hold the the what you're going to be putting this card through. So now what I do, I make it simpler on me. And these things like to hang around. I actually like to go ahead and size up the corners if you guys can see what I'm doing. This way I could see what I'm doing. And then you've got one corner together. It's almost like putting a puzzle piece together. And I'm going to do the same thing to this corner. I have found so that you get the exact corners. It's easier this way. And there you go, you got those two together, and you can pull it slightly apart. Now you're going to go and you're going to put these on the back. And again, you could do it and you can lay them all down together and do it that way, but I have found, personally, this is why I do it this way. Okay, so there is your card for the most part. Now it's time to fold. And I have learned that if you fold inwards, you're going to fold towards, and I know this is kind of weird, but you can kind of see where this little line is for the other piece of paper that's behind it. And I'm going to try to get to that. Basically, you're going to fold back to the one inch section. And I hope I got this. I think I did. It might be slightly off. I can fix it later. So you're going to pull this one back, and I know it's slightly off. You're going to pull this one back. Yeah. 
I know it's totally off. My apologies. So you're going to have this on that side and this side is going to start creasing. Now that we got this, you want to bone fold on both sides and I'm using a popsicle stick. Use what you got. Use a ruler if you have a bone folder. Use it. The idea is to crease it. Now you're going to do the same thing again and again it helps to use the crease that's already in the middle on the opposite side. So I'm going to do or it comes out to the one inch of what you put the sticky tape on, the strong tape. And then you're going to do the same thing to this side. This is a super fun card. One of my favorites. I should make more of them. And that pretty much is it. Now if you watch, and you'll see why it reminds you of the cooties when we were kids. Watch as it unfolds. Now you can do it either way and it just continues to go. You can you can keep the one side on one like if you wanted to do you can do two different colors, you can do four different color papers. Um, I again I did the two different colors so that you can see how this turned out. And again if you want to go in and you want to straighten it's not as off as I thought it was. Now I have a coordinating paper um, that I'm going to be using for samples. And you'll see that in my pictorial. But there you go. This is your never ending card. And it's that simple, guys. If you want to see the pictorial and much more, follow me on Facebook at Charming Custom Crafts. Look for the little blue daisy icon with the words tips and tricks under people. And be uh, get an entry into the race to 500 where somebody's going to win big. I hope to see you there, guys. Take care. Bye.